This is Vivo iQ U5X and today I would like to demonstrate how you can set up parental controls for this device. So to start you will need to launch settings, then find and enter the accounts category and in here check whether you have any Google accounts added. If you do, you gotta simply remove them like that. Once there is no Google accounts remain, you gotta get back to the main settings page, enter the Google category, then go for the parental controls, get started, child or teenager, next. Now you will need to sign into your child's Google account, so let me do exactly that. Once the account was successfully signed into, you gotta select it over here from the list and enter another credentials to another Google account. This time, uh, sign into the Google account you will use to supervise your child's activity or log into parental Google account. Then after the account will be checked, you'll be forwarded to the about supervision page. In here at the very bottom, input the child's Google account password once again then tap at the agree button, then go for the allow at the dialog window that follows and wait for the parent and child accounts to get linked. Then hit the next button. This step we can skip. The same applies for the following step that we'll have. Then if uh, the device that is highlighted over here is the phone or tablet you will use to supervise your child, you can tap at the install family link button and the required app will be automatically downloaded and installed on your phone. Or you can simply skip this step and uh, download the required app manually. So here is my parental device. Uh, you know, I will need to open the Play Store and as I've already said, download the family link application. Once the app is ready, you can go ahead and open it. In here, uh, make sure that you sign in with the that you are signing in with the parental Google account. And inside the app, <clears throat> you can do all sorts of stuff. For example, you can monitor your child's location, see the child's device usage highlights, and you have a bunch of controls to your name as well, such as uh, setting up the daily usage limits, downtime routine, managing the app limits and the app activity of your child in general, applying and installing content and age restrictions for apps, configuring account settings, managing devices if you have multiple people to look after. And well, that would be more or less it, at least as far as setting up parental controls goes. We highly appreciate your attention, guys. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.